Okay, so we're working on the Valent Ecotech Pro and we're going to be changing over the plate heat exchanger. So, um, if you look in the description below, I'll put some reasons why you might need to change it in the first place. But, let's get into it. So, make sure the boiler is safe to work on, do your safe isolation. Then we have one screw underneath that we're going to need to undo. You can either use a spanner or Phillips undo or flathead if you really want to. Then we have two little tabs to push in like that and then that will release the front case off. Like so we can pop the front panel down and if you can see our plate is right there. This is a nice one to change. So let's get the right tools out. So, before we take off the plate, we're going to need to drain and isolate and drain down the boiler. This is on the central heating circuit and the hot water circuit. So, we're going to isolate the flow and return, isolate the cold mains in. We're going to drain down the boiler using the draining valve that is on the actual isolation valve. And then we'll open any hot taps to get any water out of the boiler. Once you've done that, we can pop our little sensor off from here like so just wiggle off and then we have four screws to take off now if they are a bit stiff you can spray some WD-40 on them just to crack them the last thing you want to do is start ruining the head of the screw then you got a use a screw extractor tool to take it out just adds unnecessary time to the job okay so it's good also practice to if it is a bit stiff then just push and twist for the first attempt just to crack it like so okay and we're gonna try not to drop these screws and take them out when I feel like they're about to come out I'll just grab the screw and pull it towards the screwdriver just so it keeps it in just make sure it's in the frame screw and our final one that is dropped somewhere I don't know why that dropped that's right there it's fine okay so be careful plate could potentially drop when you're taking out this last screw so that is our four screws there so when you take this off some water might come just because of how the plate is positioned so you can just try to drop it down like so and then that should keep out keeping any water then once you got the plate out you also have two options you can clean it with spirit salts or you can um, put a new plate on so um, if you have a new plate then you're going to want to change the seals so let's just pop these off obviously if you're not if 
you're not putting on a new plate and you are just cleaning it then I'd recommend just leaving the seals unless you have new ones and they were a problem and they were leaking okay so I've always found that putting on new seals you can either just get them and push them quite firmly and they'll stay or you can also use a little bit of silicone grease and it will help them stick as well so if we do that and then just push it in you'll see it will stick a little so we'll just put in grease on the back of them and pushing them like so that one got stuck to my finger now when I change any plates um, I'm trying to think what other plate it is that is a bit tricky when they fall off no it's not the plate, it's the diverter when you're doing the diverter, this is all something you can do as well to get them to stick. Just put some silicone grease and push, and then they will stay. So, our plate, new plate, clean plate, whatever you've done, and then we're just gonna line it up. So, grab our screws. Okay, as usual, the good thing is though, I looked in a box and I found another battery. So now I'm able to just charge both and then when one dies, put that one back in. Okay, so we was doing up these screws. So a little tip for putting them in and not dropping them is the same thing I was taking about, just putting pressure on the screwdriver as you guide them in. to try balance them like that and they was used to fall Final screw that will pop in. Okay, and make sure they are all nice and tight. Then we're gonna pop our little center back on down here. And then that is it, that is changing the plate. Obviously you unisolate your cold and from turn the fuel back up. Um shut the drain off and then you should be all good. That is changing the plate um on a Venn Ecotech Prof.